on it's on the switch and it's also on steam perhaps if if somebody has um if someone has a steam deck it's probably just as cozy as getting it on your switch huh <laughs> You want to try it out, but you already have Animal Crossing and you don't want to have another Animal Crossing game? That's fair. That's fair. I actually feel a little burnt out of Animal Crossing. Oh, I say a little. I've, t I've not played it in a few months now. So I guess that means I'm a lot burnt out. Um, I have so much to do in Animal Crossing. There's so much more to my island than I need to work on. And I kind of just want something else. Like, I want to basically, I want to play the same genre of Animal Crossing. I want to play that same genre, but I want something else because i want to take a little break from my island right that that feeling would probably be alleviated if i was able to have more than one island like if we were if we were allowed more than one island i would probably be like yeah this is fine then i'll just play on my other island no big deal but since we can't do that <laughs> i mean i don't have two switches or two copies or anything um let me switch my title and stuff over Switch over to reading aloud, and what else, what else? I guess that... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Should be all switched now. But yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean, Silvern. <laughs> I don't think I booted up today. I don't think I booted up this game today, so we have all the quests to do. You honestly kind of want to reset your island, but you've done so much stuff. I know. Ooh. A flying bug! I only just started seeing those for the first time, I think, yesterday. The flying bugs. Hello. Oh, wait. I was talking to a... Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte Pine. Hi there, Scout. You know what I was thinking. This place is so special, so cozy. But what does that word mean? I suppose if you had a lot of time on your hands, you could write a big philosophical essay on what cozy means. But I wonder if a photograph could capture the essence of it better. Do you want to give it a try? Okay. Take one photo containing all of the following. Four rustic decor and the cozy grove sign. All right. Cozy grove sign is right up here. Wait a second. I actually am not too big of a fan of the fact that they move, um... The objects move around every day? I don't know if that makes sense. It's kind of disorienting. <laughs> so even, even the sign has moved now today. It's not technically another island, but you love the happy island. Yes! Yes! It's, it's wonderful. You're still not done with your museum, so you're content to sit tight on the island you have? Me too! I don't think I finished- I finished my, um... What's it called? I finished my... Oh, I don't remember what they're called. The paintings? You know the paintings? That one is complete, but I did not complete the bugs and the fish. <laughs> Hi, Zoraika! Hello, Zoraika! How are you? Are you just waking up? Okay. I guess we'll put these down. I don't I don't know what they are. Oh, right. I'm just going to I'm just going to throw it down. I I I'm just going to get this mission done. <laughs> All right, let's take this darn photo now. <laughs> You're still mentally asleep. Well, good morning, Zuraika. Uh, you have that as well, but the only thing you haven't finished in the museum is the painting statues? Ah! Oh, you have like three fishes left? I still have not caught all the seasonal fishes and stuff. Got everything except the art museum done, so you're enjoying cooking now? Oh, right! Oh, I, f I completely forgot they added to cooking. 
Oh yeah, I I think I need a lot more. What's it called? Oh, I'm blanking. See, see how tired I am. What is it called? <laughs> a lot more recipes. Yeah, I I I don't have all of the D DIYs yet, which is not part of the museum, but I I am sort of kind of collecting all the DIYs, right? <laughs> Hooray! One quest down. Oh, <gasps> delicious! A bakery display case. Hey, those freshly baked treats? They taste far better when shared with friends. It's true. They're speaking the truth. What's this? Oh, A lonely bench. Spooks and spirits are known to haunt forgotten amusement parks. These are common objects of spirits without investigation. <laughs> okay. One bear spirit down. I don't know how many I own. <laughs> I don't know how many are on this island. Let's try on our, our clothes for the day. Oh, this is a cute hat. Yeah, I'll buy this one. I saw a beret the other day, but I didn't like the color. <laughs> Ooh, look at this gothic dress! When spirit scouts come of age, many attend a local chapter ball festooned in black lace. Oh, it's so pretty! I'm gonna wear it now. <laughs> it's so pretty. Denim jacket. Aww. Okay, that's a cute bandana. <laughs> I'll wear it later, maybe. Oh, hell yes! <laughs> a beard. This is as much beard as you can grow without becoming the beast with no neck. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyone... If anyone wants DIYs and recipes, you have a shit ton on your island? Oh my gosh, me too. Actually... I think you can store them now. So I have a lot in my storage. I believe you can store them now. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, Silburn. I'm honestly I might pick up I might pick up Animal Crossing again soon. It'll it would also be really cute to have another date in Animal Crossing with Allie. We haven't we haven't done that in a long time. I miss it. <laughs> I'm in medieval store. I'm so stoked that there seems to be a medieval theme. For furniture. I saw another medieval themed or worded item. <laughs> this stool that fits your bum perfectly. Get it. Yeah, I might I might go for like a medieval themed. I was thinking medieval theme with um lots of flowers. Possibly the farm farmland theme as well. That might be a nice combo. You can store DIY recipes now, which you're so glad. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey there, I've got another missed package slip. Attention, Patrice Furbach. You will get what you deserve. A weight pinned over your heart. Well, no wonder it wasn't delivered to me. I forgot my zip code. Looks like this is going to require a personal pickup, and I'm swamped with paperwork. Any chance you could help me out? I guess. It was a medal. Oh, I thought we were looking for a package. Maybe I lost it by a supply shelf behind something. I know where that might be. Hi, Plague Bird! Is this Don't Starve? No. <laughs> this is a lot cozier than Don't Starve. You like the... Yeah, lower left of your beach is nothing but DIYs. Yup. <laughs> All of my beaches used to have that. Um, have DIYs scattered on them. And I, I kept them organized, too. I was I was really organized about it. <laughs> and then I used, um, I used Nookazon for the first time ever. And, boy, I, I managed to get rid of so many of my DIYs because other people were looking for them. And then I would trade them for DIYs that I was looking for. Nookazon was incredible. I loved using it. <laughs> so I cut back a lot, but... There's still plenty left, of course. You're back from the new Strange movie! <laughs> you really liked it? I'm so glad to hear that! <laughs> I'm glad. 
as I said, I really liked the first one, and we just watched that, so I, I look forward to the second one. But I probably won't see it until it comes to um, DVD or whatever. Whatever you might call that. <laughs> Yes, there is a there is a website called Nookazon. It's basically a fan made site. Um, it's very legitimate, honestly. Um, obviously, you have to be aware of uh, other players who might scam you. But um, but yeah, I I loved it. Um, they have a website and they also have a mobile app. Yes, Nookazon. Nookazon is incredible. You you basically have a profile. Uh, what else can I say about it? You have a profile, you can make a wish list, you can make a selling, you can make a looking for, as in like a buying. Uh, you can look at everything people have listed. Uh, you can scroll through... Um, you know, let, let's, let, let's say you found a listing, you can scroll through um, other people's offers, like... Some people might sell things for really, really lots of money, and others might sell it for nothing. <laughs> um, and some people are more willing to do trades than they are selling things, so if something is too expensive for your tastes, um, you can offer to trade them something that's on their wish list, which I have always had excellent luck with. Like, you could even... I mean, I've even had really good deals on my end where i give them a i give them a doi that is really easy to find but they are desperate for it right and they have a diy that's hard to find and i just i'm just trying to collect no big deal but they're they're so thankful for for offering them a diy it's it's i don't know I, i'm going on a ramble now but it's wonderful i recommend nukazon but yeah you might want to be careful because people can scam but i've never i've never experienced it before <laughs> Yeah, DVDs, okay, Boomer, what? You want me to say bl Blu-rays? <laughs> or I guess l streaming it? <laughs> Pretty good at vetting players and filtering. Yes, yes, so you can you can um, rate people. So after every, uh, every trade you go through with, you can give them a little rating. Typically, people are super happy to say a thank you, and then you get a thank you. Or, I mean, you give out a thank you, and they give you a thank you, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But yeah, the rating system is great, so you can obviously avoid people who are low rating. You perfected your Ida, uh, island having a massive 4x4 mural of a busty anime lady. <laughs> what? On a raised mountain you haven't touched the game since? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy people can play the game however they want. <laughs> My fellow trees were whispering at night. They said I'd lost something important, that it was time for me to find it. You're a spirit scout, right? You've learned to commune with the Elder Roots? Perhaps they can send you a vision, an image of what I've lost. A sort of... I sort of remember where I saw one. It was near a broken rowboat. Huh. Yep, you can choose. Um, I feel like... I noticed a pattern. I've done hundreds of trade, trades on that on that site, but I th I think I started noticing a pattern, like if it's if it's their listing, if you put in an offer on their listing, they expect you to open your island, because because I think the logic or the reason is because they can list a bunch of items that they're trying to sell, and then they don't have to play the game. They're just it's it's listed, they'll get notified if somebody was interested. They can go do whatever else. So I I think it's fair to say they assume that you're gonna open for them. Rather than them leaving their game open. Why would why would they sit there leaving their game open, right? Anyways. <laughs> but um it really doesn't matter. It's just it's just preference, but that's just something I noticed. I noticed a trend. So if you put in an offer on somebody's listing, they will most likely expect you to open your island for them. Um and if you're concerned about people visiting your island, um, there are lots of safety measures you can take. They're, none of them are foolproof, if that makes sense. Um, but you can do things. You can, first of all, block off your island and make sure that the moment you might see somebody trying to dive off of your port where they land, um, you can just sleep your game. You just press the sleep button 
um, and that's it. They disconnect. Nothing would happen. Um, that's that's a that's a fail safe safety measure, I suppose. Um, but yeah, most people I've never experienced anyone who attempts to do anything weird like that. Um, I mean, honestly, I think it's because the game has died down by now, right? So it's really only serious players, if that makes sense. <laughs> nobody's nobody's around to troll anymore. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can block off your island. That's what I did. I, I, I basically just made a little section at the at the pier and uh, And we do the trade there. They basically just drop the item you drop whatever else and there you go trade happened I didn't mean to move my character. Shoot. Oh, what the hell? Oh I've never seen it spin like that before what? What was that? <laughs> was that was that because of one of my ducklings? Maybe. <laughs> Seen a lot of people outright set up little trading posts. Yes, yes, some people go all out. Like, they love doing the trades. Um, they have a full section and a, a plaza dedicated to, like, a wonderful trade setup. They'll even make, like, little markers on the ground saying, you know, lion starts here, you know, written in the ground. Or, like, they'll put on the stalls, they'll put uh, something that says trade here, you know, something like that. It's just so cute. Some people go all out. I basically just block off my entrance and then, you know, we have a little, we have a little area to work in and that's that. <laughs> Nothing else is really needed. Squark. Something I ate must have been, must have done me in a bad way. There's only one cure for a raging belly. More food! Uh, oh, okay. He wants cocoa beans. That's not really a food. <laughs> it's near a folding chair. Oh. Also, we're trying to look for this thing near a broken rowboat. Oh, shoot. I have too many items. Let me drop off stuff. <laughs> I'll chase him after. <laughs> And we'll put that away, too. Oh yeah, yesterday... Yesterday I got a new bear. One I got is this farming... Or corn! He looks like corn. I like that he's set up right next to my... My part of the island. <laughs> Hey friend, great to see you, great to see you. I've worked up a list of things for you to go searching for. Gotta warn you, it's a long one. Are you sure you need all this stuff? All the items I want represent important memories to me. You know, memories from being alive and all. I just happen to be attached to more memories than most folks. And listen, you never know what's hiding in my huge collection of things. I might be able to give you something valuable in return. True. Holy... Okay. Oh boy. Wait, he wants me to give him decorations? What? What? I'm not willing to part ways with, with my decorations. What? Maybe he gives them back after. <laughs> Question, are people still playing- paying IRL money? No, no. Um, the reason they're not is because I- I believe the- the, um, Amiibo cards are out. I- I, I think, right? I'm pretty sure. Raymond ha and Marshall have an Amiibo card. Well, Marshall has always had one. Raymond is, or does now. Which the only reason people wanted to pay real money for Raymond was because there was no card for him. But once once, once they release the um, Amiibo card for it, you can honestly just, um, well, you can just make your own Amiibos, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> so, but that's the reason. That's the reason nobody does that anyway. <laughs> or they shouldn't anyway.
<laughs> but I'm sure they're still um, relatively expensive on Nukazon. You can trade villagers. By the way, I've traded villagers before. It's a lot, a, a lot scarier of a process than just a casual item trade, but you can do it. I, I've, I've done it before and it worked out well. I trusted the person enough, thanks to the review system. What the hell was that? What the hell was that noise? What? Young moon cat, a spiritual cat of great power. Beware of its warm and cuddly presence. It purrs rhythmically. It is okay, luminous one. These things pass. What? What? So I've never- I've never actually done this before. I guess you can get a pet cat or something. Oh my god! Look at him! Oh, he doesn't want to be near me. He doesn't like me! I caught him. <laughs> Aww. Creature seems to like you. What do you want to name it? <gasps> okay. Okay, I forgot. I forgot this was a thing. Um, Should we make a poll? I don't know how many of you are um, here right now. <laughs> but uh, maybe we should make a poll. Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, Mooncat's name. Maria... <laughs> Dash, <laughs> Coco, and Chewy. Let's set the duration. Two minutes. There is a poll right now. I, I can't show you the cat. He's right under here. <laughs> it is called a moon cat. He was, he has black markings, what any, white markings, and a little bit of yellow. Name it Clump Clump. What? <laughs> um, and you guys can vote in the poll if you want to name it Maria, Dash, Coco, or Chewy. <laughs> you remember at the start of the pandemic, people were paying top dollar just to visit those two? Just to visit? Not not even, like, you know, obtain? <laughs> yeah, I, I... They... Yeah, people paid real money to... To have... Uh... Them traded over. <laughs> Alright, it looks like it's two votes for Coco, one vote for Chewy so far. I like both of those names. Maria's also a cute name. If it's not a little a little bit of a standard name, I don't I can't think of a cat named Maria. <laughs> Keep in mind, cats um named with an E sound at the end of their name are more receptive to their names. So if we name it Chewy <laughs> Realistically, the cat would <laughs> appreciate the name more, I guess. Whereas Coco, cats don't... I don't know, there's something about saying E, E sounds, uh, that cats like the sound of. And they... They respond a little better to those types of names. So... Uh, my boyfriend Ali's pet cat is named Gracie. Gracie! <laughs> <laughs> you want Coco? Coco's a cute name. Chewy like Chewbacca? <laughs> That'd be cute. Couple more seconds! <laughs> oh, looks like we're going with Coco. Looks like we're going with Coco. <laughs> Coco won with two votes. Um, But Chewy is a cute name. Dixie responds to her name with a super high tail, and Clementine doesn't give a shit unless they say Clemmy. Yes, that's exactly... That's... That's it. That's what it is. <laughs> All right, we're clicking on Coco. Hello, Coco. Oh. <laughs> Dislikes bustling decor. Likes cozy decor. <laughs> you know, I think I actually. Oh shoot! He like. Oh shoot! It's fine. I need to turn these in to. Wait, why can't I pick this up? What the hell? Oh, because I'm full? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe we can rename it. Plus, plus, I think we'll get more and more um, pets. 
we should go ahead and lure one again. We'll go with mushrooms and uh, flowers and lettuce. <laughs> we'll see what kind of cat spawns from this. This is only my first day doing that, that kind of thing, so this is our first ever cat. Even though we're on day, like, what, eight or nine? <laughs> You're definitely not going to have nightmares tonight by reminding yourself of the mere existence of creepy pastas. Oh no. Why would you remind yourself of such a thing? <laughs> okay. Uh I don't I don't remember what we're doing. My <laughs> I am running on like one brain cell left. But that's okay. <laughs> we'll just run around until you remember things. Hello, can I help you with something? It's awfully funny being a ghost maker, buddy. Not funny like a good joke, exactly. It's funny like one of my jokes. Kind of confusing, kind of sad. I've forgotten so much, and that flimsy dowsing rod we made is only pulling up shadows, obvious memory. Shallow, obvious memories. I did a little research on Dow's craft. Turns out there's a way to fortify a dowsing rod to make it even more effective. Would you mind helping me get find the ingredients for the job? I know it's a pain, but I think a stronger dowsing rod could help us both. Ooh. Also, there's a little beetle running around. I want to get it. Oh, I missed. Oh, he's fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a big fan of scary things? The only exceptions being Doctor Who and Fallout since they're also awesome? Yes, that's fair. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> Let's turn it into our collection. I think that's the... F Honestly, for me, the funnest part of Cozy Grove so far has been just the addiction to turning in things into the collection. Because <laughs> look how many. Look. There is 253 shells in existence, and I've found 33 of them so far. There's 180 fish, 209 critters, 372 flowers, 129, 25 food, and... 63 crafting materials. <laughs> there is so much to do! And that is what it's keeping me going <laughs> for now. It's addicting. I hear a personal physical pain you experienced about once a, uh, w once about a decade ago? Ah! Uh, <laughs> if you're willing to share, I suppose. <laughs> I do get um, very creeped out with... Um, with uh, anything that relates to internal things, like like guts and stuff. I get really creeped out, um, IRL, but in video games and, and movies and horror games, I love blood and guts. Gore, gore is really fun in video games and movies. But IRL, I can't handle it in the slightest. I can't even look at those doctor, um, those doctor infographics where they show like What's inside of a human body? Like, you know, it's it's very normal and casual, but I can't even I can't even look at those. They they make me so uncomfortable. <laughs> um, you love collecting things and seeing the various little artworks for each item? Yes, yes, Bug Snacks has incredible little sketches. Oh my god, the journal is so cute. <laughs> Bug Snacks moods. When do you see Guts IRL? You know, like in um uh... Well, I don't actually see Guts IRL. I meant like, you know, even in doctor's books, it creeps me out. <laughs> um, what's another example? Well, just thinking about it, honestly. Just thinking about like the, the guts that are inside of my own body. If I think too hard about it, I get really, really creeped out. I end up wanting to curl up in a fetal position. Not even, I'm not even being dramatic or anything like, like actually I end up wanting to sort of curl my my legs in towards my body just because i i hate i hate thinking about the fact that there are yeah guts in my body i don't i just don't like it <laughs> don't 
Dr. Hand Simulator. <laughs> what time is it for me? It is 11.47. Greetings, Trevor. I am, I am Pit Bull of the Woods. Have you seen my orphanages nearby? N no? <laughs> Hi, Miles. How are you? <laughs> Yes, I stream for six hours. Oh, let's turn this in. <laughs> but I, I would, I would want to play the the simulator games. Like I said, I love gory uh, horror movies. I love violent video games. Um, but there's something about thinking about it in a real way, like actually thinking about the guts contained inside my own body. That that's too far. <laughs> I can't handle it for some reason. You don't like being an organism? So you want a robot body? <laughs> you want your belly to be a giant furnace? Ew. <laughs> Thank you for the care package, Lokers. If you don't know what um, Galatron is, it's the one that looks like a UFO and spins around really fast. Oh, is that from... Is that from... Oh, what's it called? That really old game. With Ness? Maybe? No. No, that's a... No, that's like the mothership. Fuck. I got it wrong. <laughs> um... Uh, the only two rides you dislike at fairs are- Oh, ga oh, I see! Oh, it's a ride at a fair. Did I lose the context? Oh, in Vale, you said you have four cats, um, who are all strays thrown on your road, but their names are Libby. Oh, perfect! <laughs> Liberty, aww. Callie, because she's a calico. Olive, who got nicknamed Ollie, and, uh, Bamboo, because she was found in a bamboo grass patch. Aww, that's so sweet! <laughs> Libby, Callie, Ollie, and Bamboo. <laughs> That's so cute. I concur we should abandon the flesh and become one with the metal. <laughs> I remember this conversation, Dead Signal. I remember it. <laughs> We're kindred spirits, I'm a huge horror- Yes, yes! You're working on tormented souls. I don't- I don't think I know what that is. I'm gonna- I'm gonna write that down and look it up later. <laughs> Let's see. That sounds interesting though. Tormented souls, wonderful. <laughs> Oops, I missed the message. I had to tie back in. Dang it. Oh right, I don't I don't need to read this. Well, yes, I did. Fuck. I just skipped it a bunch. Oh my god. It's fine. With this, we can draw deeper memories out of the ground. That should help with our, our crafting. Help me to get the, to the bottom of my ghostliness. Dang it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. <laughs> but it's fine. We're cozy. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. We just missed some dialogue. <laughs> the moment you accepted your weakness of your flesh, it disgusted you. <laughs> is that from something? It sounds like a quote. It certainly is quotable, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Plus you're afraid of heights, so ferris wheels combined with like three fairs into one? Dang! And a nostalgic game designed around the look and feel of old school Silent Hill games. Ooh! I haven't I haven't had the opportunity to play Silent Hill yet. But I want to. I haven't even seen the movies, honestly. Let's talk to the mayor, shall we? Can I help you with something? Well, yes, there are plenty of things that can impede the re-election of a mayor. Assistant, economic decline, crime, infrastructure decay, bad parade management. But nothing's worse- oh god, they're shaking. Nothing's worse than an unchecked insect infestation. Something must be done. Oh, okay. Any critter- Mischief, it's nearby a dead tree? What? <laughs> I've never gotten this type of quest before. 
The movies are either meh or kind of good. I've heard the same thing. <laughs> you cannot stand Ferris wheels and um, may as well be panic attacks when you go on be one because... Um, what if it breaks or stops moving? Oh, Rolling into the ocean? <laughs> oh, I don't mind Ferris wheels. I don't like when they um, rock back and forth. Because, um... Everyone, everyone I have ever been on a ferris wheel with is always the type of person to want to purposefully rock it and I'm just like, please stop. <laughs> Can I just enjoy the fact that this is not a ride ride? <laughs> not a real ride ride? <laughs> They're your worst enemy? My goodness. Vote from Warhammer 40k? Ah, or 4k. <laughs> Replace their organs with cybernetics. <laughs> Leaving behind enough to still be human. Interesting. Used for sweet cooking. Wait a second. Oh! Uh, I thought... I thought this said coffee bean. I thought he was looking for coffee beans. He wants cocoa beans. Right. He wants chocolate. Okay. Well done, young sailor. This should quell the rumbling in me gut. I'm, I'm glad. I don't think eating raw coconut... Cocoa beans is gonna be very delicious, but you know, you do you. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> um, gave us a recipe. Uncommon cottage small sculpture. Wonderful. <laughs> At least with fast rides, you know you're much more likely to die on impact. <laughs> And that gives you the reassurance, TJM. <laughs> you have terrible arachnophobia. Or, or sorry, wait, uh, acrophobia. And the fear of cable snapping or something. Ah. I don't think I'm afraid of heights. I'm, I get scared of heights. I do. Um, like they're, 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 in, they're scary. But I don't think I'm actually, um, afraid of them. My symptoms would- symptoms of fear would be a lot worse, I feel like. <laughs> um, but I am afraid of stairs. I am very afraid of stairs. Uh, specifically walking up them because... I get more scared walking up them than down because... I know that I eventually have to go back down the stairs. So I'm more fearful of going up them. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, this is a cute craftable apple harvest for seasoned farmers. <laughs> it's like four minutes to go to the highest level and then <laughs> Yes. I don't I don't think I hate that, but it is annoying. That's why I always like to go on the backs of roller coasters if I actually want to be scared. If I don't want to be scared, then sit in the very front. I know it might be scary to see all the things because you're on the front, but you literally move slower because the tail end of the roller coaster still has to make it up the up the the mountain. And if you're sitting the front, you're you're probably already halfway down the dip before the tail end even makes it over. So, <laughs> Honestly, really boring. <laughs> but I suppose if you're scared of looking at it, then eh, guess it can't be helped then. <laughs> That's my first uh thingy. Cool. Walking downstairs is easy. You can sit and just yes, yes. <laughs> Like a horrible slide, yup. I do walk very slowly downstairs and I, I prefer to hold somebody's hand um, when I walk down the down the stairs. But like as far as fear goes, I'm, I'm a lot scareder of going up. Simply because I know I eventually have to go back down. <laughs> and just stairs in general terrify me. I don't know why. I'm okay with ladders. Ladders are simply... Scary if you don't trust them, but... Wait. 
Oh, I can't interact with that tree because it's not lit up here yet. Okay, I still don't know where this is. I sort of remember where I saw it near a broken rowboat. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um... <laughs> a deep psychological fear? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I haven't been, like, diagnosed or anything. I just know it's one of the most terrifying things I can think of. I'm I'm a lot scareder of stairs than I am spiders, so whatever that might mean. I don't have arachnophobia, but anyways, I'm I'm mostly just gauging it on how scared I am of other things compared to stairs. Um, for example, I'm also a little bit scared of flowers, the ones that hide their insides. Um, like a tulip, they hide the the inside part. <laughs> I'm scared of those types of flowers. But I think I'm actually- I'm a lot more scared of stairs than I am of those flowers. Yeah, I don't- I don't know if I have a true phobia. A deep psychological fear. <laughs> For that, anyway. My inventory is so full! Oh, we can turn this in now. Your true phobia is always being timed. You hate being timed so badly. Oh no! Oh, I can't even imagine what school must have been like. Grade school? Dang. It's certainly stressful being timed. I hate it, that's for certain. <laughs> A remarkable likeliness of her card from wood. What is this? Two eyes, two ears, a snout? And yet it's made out of wood? What does it mean? Oh, little Fauna, I understand now. I've been a bit confused. This may come as a shock to you, but... I'm a bear. A bear and an artist. And when I was alive, I carved this statue. Oh. Is it a fear response for flowers or just eel gross icky? I think it's eel, eel gross icky. I- yeah. I think it's- I think it's the gross. I think it's gross. I mean, to be fair, I am like 99% convinced I have tocophobia, which is fear of pregnant bellies. Um, and that's also extremely ill, gross, icky to me, to the point where I am terrified of it. Um, and I, I, I actually start, I just start crying. I am so fucking disgusted and terrified of pregnant bellies that I start crying. <laughs> Um, but flowers don't do that. <laughs> you, you're on to something there. Flowers do not do that for me, luckily. <laughs> but they are really gross to me, the ones that hide their inside. I just get the heebie-jeebies. It just makes my skin crawl, I guess. <laughs> nothing, nothing extreme. <laughs> Ladders are another fear of yours. You're 230 pounds and you feel like the ladder might break on you, even though you know it can handle up to 400 pounds. Aww. You know, I, I, I'm just, I'm simply scared of ladders. They're not, they're not the comfiest. Um, I, I am like, I think I'm like 110, 115 pounds. Um, and I am also terrified that ladders might break on me. <laughs> but that's not, I don't, I don't think it's a fear. I think I'm just, I think I'm just scared of that. Because it's reasonable to be scared about <laughs> <laughs> no, that flower, see the difference, the difference is that flower is showing its insides. You can see, you can see what's in there. I think I, I read the reason why some people are scared of flowers that, um, hide their insides, such as tulips. The reason is actually pretty rational, and it's because, um, bees and other insects like to hide in there, or, you know, they work in there, or they're sleeping in there. And therefore, if you can't see inside of there, it's it's actually a rational fear to be scared of it. <laughs> because there could be a bee which could sting you, which, you know, depending on the bee, it could cause a lot of harm. <laughs> um Yeah, I don't think I'm I don't think I'm fearful of flowers. 
and definitely not the ones that show their insides. I love, for example, I love daisies and cosmos. They're, they're just so, they're such pretty flowers and they don't hide their insides at all and I just, I love them. They're cute and I'm not disgusted at all and I feel like a normal person when I look at those kinds of flowers. <laughs> You would love to play a video game where you play as an underhiver and you're focused or you're forced to find cybermedics, cybernetics maybe, to replace damaged body parts and they become more and more permanently destroyed all the while being taught that Testing, testing, can you hear me? I think maybe we could be reconnected now, perhaps, I wonder. I see that I'm constantly reconnecting now. It's back? <laughs> and yes, TJM. How weird. Yeah, my um so I didn't lose internet. It didn't it didn't drop. But it just it just decided to not. But yeah, I was using cellular. I wasn't actually <laughs> I wasn't um seeing your guys' chat messages. Weird. It's like it's like my router decided to reboot itself. That's so odd. <laughs> I don't know what I may have missed. If I look at my mobile chat, I guess the last message I see is just Soulburn saying, "Nope, not on my end." <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're back. Wait, and we're disconnected from streamer bot and everything? Damn. At least I didn't hear that everything's gonna be okay. Let me refund you, okay? <laughs> but I appreciate the sound alert. Even though we didn't hear it, everything is gonna be okay. Everything is <laughs> okay. I'm so glad I can actually refund you. Oh, it's even though I, okay, I'm restarting streamer bot. <laughs> How weird. I was just sitting here not knowing anything was going on, and I even mentioned the fact that Discord went down. I was like, oh, that's weird. Discord's down. And then I saw my Streamlabs, my, my OBS, I saw it flicker, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, oh no, can you even hear me? Twitch just announced that I'm live? Yeah. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Uh, where is that? Oh, it's right there. There you go. Just to confirm that you can hear me, say banana. Banana if you can hear me. I'm gonna make sure Streamlabs gets... Oh, weird. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay. I don't know why StreamerBot's not connecting. You were about to say if you don't, um, you won't have a fear of bees if you add metal. Oh, right. <laughs> Instead of skin, become robot today for the low, low price of... <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> chat missed you giving me the most entertaining and insightful chatter award. <laughs> And I think I was responding to you, Plague Plagued Bird. So I was saying, uh, Plagued Bird was talking about the notion of things enveloped in other things being repelling. He and then he he said organs enveloped in a body, or you know, for example, a, a fetus, uh, flower insides. And I I was exclaiming, I'm pretty sure you guys couldn't hear me, but I was extra, ex ex eh, I was exclaiming. That you might be onto something. Am I scared of ravioli? No, not in the slightest. Ravioli is delicious. Um, yeah, I was exclaiming that you might be onto something, and I was I was trying to think of any other things that I might find gross that are a thing contained inside of a thing. <laughs> Am I scared of cocoons? I mean, they're they're really creepy. I suppose it's pretty creepy. But so are bugs, honestly. I know this might be a little immersion breaking given that I'm a fairy and I live in a forest of bugs. But bugs are kind of- bugs are creepy to me. 
<laughs> Solid no. <laughs> spider eggs. I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, spider egg sex. That's yeah. That's that's creepy. Egg, you know what? You know what's not creepy? Eggs. I'm not. I'm not scared about eggs. Eggs are fine. <laughs> Stream robot. More like dead. Boom. <laughs> Got him. Okay, what were we up to? <laughs> I need to catch more critters, that's right. Let's run around. Oh, I missed. There we go. <laughs> Am I scared of you inside of a sleeping bag rolling at you very fast? <laughs> um, I don't think I'd be fearful of that, no. Oh, and the hug is not working. You know what? My Streamlabs chatbot may have died as well. I'm gonna restart chatbot. I restarted streamer bot, but now I'll restart chat bot, which is the one that runs our hug command, sadly. I will be switching that over as soon as I can figure it out. No, I just launched, I just launched OBS. Oh, that's gonna be gross. It's gonna be double launched or something. Fuck. <laughs> I don't even know what's gonna happen if it launches twice. Oh my god. And even my- even my heart rate monitor stopped connecting. <laughs> How weird. I don't even know if it was my internet at this point because... It seems to be a Streamlabs focused issue. If it weren't for Discord disconnecting though, that proves that it was my internet. <laughs> Although wait, I just realized Twitch also. Okay, uh, chatbot is reset. So the hug command should work now. I don't think my OBS is launching twice, which is good. At least I don't think so. Thank you for the headpads, dead signal. <laughs> Got hit by an e EMP? Seems like it, my goodness. Everything is gonna be okay! There it is. <laughs> Thank you, and I'm glad that's working now, and there's the hug. Wonderful. <laughs> Miles watches from a distance. Oh no. <laughs> oh my. I don't think so. <laughs> you guys are silly. But thank you, thank you for the headpads and the reassurance. I appreciate it. <laughs> I won't lie, I do freak out whenever tech issues happen, but this one, this one was an okay hiccup. Not, not the worst. Not the worst that's ever happened. Funny enough, I actually don't think my Wi-Fi is back. My Wi-Fi stopped. We're on Ethernet right now, so it's fine, but... <laughs> um, hmm, I'm trying to up the nutritional value of my bakes. I bet some metal ore would be just the ticket. Ah, yes. This lady is on the same page with, um... Converting people into robots. Yes, she is. She's on board. She thinks if you if you bake things with metal ore in it, that perhaps we will become the metal. God, he runs fast. Oh, does that other guy vanish? I didn't even notice that. Never noticed that before. Ethernet? What do you mean old school tech? <laughs> What? <laughs> Ethernet's incredibly powerful. Ethernet's a... One, one gig up. <laughs> well, I meant up and down. Download. <laughs> Unless you're just teasing me. I'm pretty gullible, though. You could probably try convincing me that there's something better than Ethernet out there. <laughs> I would believe you. Especially at this hour. Oh, we found the metal! I don't know when I did. Right. Oh, we can turn that into the mayor now. Welcome back, games! You mean that Ethernet's older than Wi-Fi, I'm pretty sure? Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> so sad that uh, Wi-Fi is still behind. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's doing its best. <laughs> okay, let's let's put these down. We got some more flower pots. What else? I just want to make room, really. 
Oh, that's right. I threw... Okay. I'll do that other quest some other time. My brain can't handle trying to think about... Uh, what was it, the quest? Any common decorations except fences. I just don't want to give the NPC my my shit. I don't, I don't want to give him anything. What if he doesn't give it back? So I'll do that. I'll do that later when I have more brain power. <laughs> okay. And a tree. Nice. Let's put the tree over here. I know they were developed in tandem and both released on the same first card. Oh, wow, I, I wouldn't have thought. That's really interesting. Hi, Monty. Hello, Monty. How are you? Ethernet stronger than Wi Fi by virtue of the internet juice having a tube to flow down instead of your router sucking an internet gas. Yes. <laughs> what an excellent visual. Lightning rods are better than Ethernet. <laughs> oh, we already had the item for her. Okay, gosh, do you see how tired I was? I accepted her quest and we could have turned it in immediately. I just didn't notice. For one second, you will have a thousand gigabytes internet speed, but that's only one per PC. <laughs> That should add a nice aftertaste. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> the future is already here, not just not evenly distributed. True. True. Okay, that's her quest done. I'm not gonna work on the farmer's quest, plus it's not it's not time. Do you see that? Um so I I can take my time with that one. Uh, let's give this guy a little mushroom. Your giga fiber, whatever the hell. Oh, I got an achievement. It's so fast you had to throttle it so Steam wouldn't freak out. Really? <laughs> a wee bit weary, but doing all right. I'm glad to hear you're all right, though. I apologize for the um the notification that I just went live. My internet decided to fail, but luckily it came back <laughs> pretty quickly. At least it didn't take five minutes and the stream didn't go down technically. Or oh, wait, I I don't think it did. Oh shit it did! <laughs> We've only been live for twelve minutes. Fucking wonderful. Fucking awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Streamlabs. Hi guys! <laughs> Damn it, for a second I thought I- I mean, cause I didn't even click go live. I literally just sat here and waited it out. I was- I was considering raiding if it- if it was gonna take too long. I was considering raiding through mobile. Um... <laughs> Damn. That's okay. Rare witch stool. Oh, it's cute! A stool that fits your bum perfectly. And what does this guy want? Oh, I don't- Oh, he wanted the medal, right? Yeah, he wanted the medal. A military commendation for a distinguished service. Oh. A weight pinned over your heart. I get it now. This is a bronze star medal. This may have been mine once, but if there's one thing I know, it's that I don't deserve it. Aww. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have to go a couple more hours just to get that time up. <laughs> What time is it anyway? It's 12 19. It's not super late, I suppose. <laughs> Even though I'm super exhausted and I I worry that I'm gonna fumble my words too much to make an entertaining stream. <laughs> oh, hi there, Champ Stamp. St Stamp Champ, you caught me on break. Was just reminiscing of some of my favorite postal moments. That's right. Even when I'm not conducting postal business, business I'm thinking about Postal thoughts. We read that one before. Cheerio, Scout Tuki. A bit of a gray day in these parts. Had a moment of doubt. What if you never come back? 
Every time I lose a scout, it weighs on me. Excuse me? We are children, sir. But then I remember the importance of persistence. The one trait shared by all successful people. Heck, just look at me. I've persisted through the loss of several scouts. Oh, wonderful. You're a good ed. Studious, empathetic, excellent camping skills. I know you can do this. Believing in you, Scoutmaster Blake. And he gave me a small potted lilac. Cute. <laughs> You've only been live for 14 minutes. No excuse to be tired. <laughs> oh. Dang. Bug! There's a bug! Get him! He's running! <laughs> Let's see if I can turn anything in. How many more quests around here are there, actually? I don't... I don't know. Go sleep? I shall soon. We can wrap up the quests in Cozy Grove, right? That's a good stopping point. If, if we did it, I don't even know. Hello, I want to donate. Here, take my shit. Wonderful. <laughs> I think fumbling your words makes it more fun. Gosh. <laughs> but I'm embarrassing myself. That's probably what makes it fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I have to remember not to sell my shells. At least not the rare ones. If we open our inventory and we see a sparkle from a shell, that means it's rare. Pink. Oh, and it also says, owned one, uncommon. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Egg salad? Ooh. Known as the cursed dish. Why? Wait, why? <laughs> huh. What is this exclamation point? What the? I don't get it. Oh, a new recipe, maybe? Wait, what? Why are all these counted as new? That's not even true! <laughs> what? I've had these for so long now, what do you mean, new? That's so weird. Huh. It's weird streaming tired when you go stream of consciousness and briefly wonder, oh no, is this good content? Yes, and, and like, I also worry about my filter, right? Because when you're tired, you... Or at least for me, I lose my filter. Um, and I, I worry that I um, might reveal something that I just shouldn't. <laughs> you know, just something uh, relatively private, I suppose. <laughs> it concerns me. I just suddenly dox myself like, whoops, my bad. <laughs> Put those away. This inventory management, though. Heck. What are your thoughts on government secrets? <laughs> well, you see. <laughs> I know a thing or two. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Speak into the mic. You never have a filter. There are some things that need to need to say private for safety. That's all. <laughs> Funk. <laughs> and is an alien confirmed? Question mark. A fairy. Do, do fairies come from another planet? Alright, I actually think we're done. <laughs> like, I, I... I don't think there is any more quests. Although, I need to catch a critter. This guy! Gimme! Is that good enough for him? Nope. We, okay, we need to run around and catch critters. Oh, here's another. What about that? Did that count? Nope. Is it a specific critter? I feel like it is. You know what? I know what we can do. We can talk to this lady and give her a hundred old coins. And then she'll tell us where it is. She'll hold our hand. So does piss. Water is bliss. Thank you for the care package. I appreciate it. My my voice is definitely 
Giving out. <laughs> Hmm. And fairies are aliens? Uh, and aren't from Earth? Ooh, I have to watch Doctor Who. I've been- I've been wanting to, but it's intimidating- Oh shit, she's not gonna tell me. It's intimidating getting into a, a series that is really, really long. Oh no, we have to run around until we find a specific bug? Maybe? Where are you? Show yourself! Give us a sign! Are you near? Are you far? Are you friendly? Where are you? <laughs> the show started... <laughs> Is that a reference to something that I don't get because I haven't watched the show yet? <laughs> Are you French? Is the bug French? Oh, I forgot. Oh, look at how pretty this clock is. Ooh. Oh my god, this planter box is so cute. Take my money. <laughs> ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where's this bug? There's one more bug, apparently. Wait, it's when it actually aired? 63? Oh. 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 <laughs> Damn, that's a long time ago. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Please. <gasps> Wait. No, this is not the same bug. <laughs> I see a flying bug and I think, ah, oh, yes, this is the beetle we're looking for. Although... Beetles do fly, or some of them do. Dang it! Is he in the bushes? Nope. What the heck? And it's timed, too! I have no idea where this bug is. <laughs> Damn it. They delayed... Huh. Weird. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think I should end stream because... I think my mind is slipping and... I don't know how entertaining I can be for much longer. Um... It is cozy running around with you guys. This is not the right bug. <laughs> Heck. Dang, I, s I don't get it. Wait, it says, wait, there's a clue. There's a clue. Hold on. It's nearby a dead tree. Nearby a dead tree. We just need to look for a dead tree. This is a tree. Is it dead? Doesn't seem like it. This is a dead tree. Doesn't seem like it's that one either. You join our Discord? Welcome! <laughs> Welcome in, Mike. Here's a bug, but no dead tree. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm full. Let's see if I can donate. <sighs> okay, I'll look on the actual island. We'll try to see if we can spot a dead tree. So 
we didn't even pick up this guy. My bad. We really are full then. Okay. I want to sell stuff, please. But not these ones. Right. Oh, what is this? I'm gonna hang on to that. Dead tree, dead tree. Here's a dead tree. These are kind of dead trees. Wait, what's this on the ground? What the heck? dead tree, where would I have died? <laughs> I have no idea. I give up. <laughs> I'm too tired. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> let's, let's see if we can find someone to raid. Um, I will be live again tomorrow. Or today? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, already Saturday for me, right? Yeah, Saturday. <laughs> God. Um, but I will be live on Saturday at 8.30 Pacific. Uh, I'm not sure what game we're gonna play. It's gonna be a surprise. How about that? <laughs> we'll have it be a surprise. 